A judge in Myanmar found two Reuters journalists guilty of collecting state secrets on Monday. Wallon and Cho so -u have been sentenced to seven years in prison. It's a case that's widely seen as a test of progress towards democracy in Myanmar. The judge ruled the two reporters breached the Official Secrets Act, a colonial-era law, when they handled documents related to security forces. At the time of their arrest, the two had been working on an investigation into the killings of 10 Rohingya by troops and Buddhist civilians in Rakhine State. In testimony, the reporters had said two policemen handed them papers at a restaurant in December, moments before other officers arrested them. One police witness testified it was a setup to entrap the journalists to block or punish them for their reporting into the massacre. The verdict had been postponed for a week because the judge was sick. Monday's decision means that after 10 months behind bars, they will remain in jail, kept from their families. Cho so -u has a three-year-old daughter, and Wallone's wife gave birth to their first child last month. Reuters president and editor-in-chief Steve Adler gave a statement in response, saying the case, quote, must be corrected by the Myanmar government as a matter of urgency. The verdict came as Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi and her government faced pressure over a crackdown on Rohingya Muslims sparked by militant attacks last August. UN agencies say 700,000 Rohingya have fled violence crossing the border to Bangladesh. Myanmar denies allegations against its security forces of killings, rapes and arson. Officials say they led a legitimate counterinsurgency operation against Muslim militants. However, after arresting the reporters, the military acknowledged the massacre the reporters had been investigating. Last week, a UN fact-finding mission said Myanmar's military carried out mass killings and gang rape of Muslim Rohingya with genocidal intent. Its report called for top generals to be prosecuted. Myanmar has rejected those findings. Meanwhile, the International Criminal Court is weighing up whether it has jurisdiction over events in Rakhine State.